Come in. Ah, you must be my two o'clock. Take a seat. Take a seat wherever you'd like. So, let me just wrap this up real quick. What brings you into my office today? Oh, wait, before you get started with that, where are my manners? I'm Mr. Theodore Lumens, but you can call me Mr. Theo. Or you can just call me the greatest counselor in the world. <laughs> that last one's a joke. I like to joke around whenever a student is visibly stressed. N no, you have nothing to apologize for. Emotions are natural for a human like yourself. No, my dear, you didn't mishear me. I said human. Oh, because I'm not. I'm Elvin. My ears aren't as tall as my parents, but my magic far surpasses theirs. You win some, you lose some. Oh, before I get too off track, what is your student ID? It's uh, on the back of your picture ID card. Okay. And... Ah, okay. Well, here is your file. Yes, it seems you're doing fairly well in all of your classes, especially for a new student. Have you ever been to any other academy with similar special facilities to ours? Okay, so this is your first time at a university? Your first time at a university for the metaphysically gifted? Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Well, that would explain why you're so perplexed with the ears. Well, if you need help finding anything around this university, or deciding what electives to take, or what would work best with your schedule, I would be delighted to... Oh, you just needed someone to talk to. Well, th yes, that's perfectly fine. Dear, you don't have to look so upset. It's perfectly normal to want to reach out for help. Would you like a water? Well, I'm going to go get you one anyways. I'm also going to go get a kettle on. I'll pour us some tea. Sorry, all I have is green tea and herbal tea. Which one would you like? Do you take any sugar? Now tell me, what's been bothering you? You don't feel like you belong here. Well, may I ask why you feel that way? Not having powers, well, that's hardly a reason to not be enrolled in such an academy. Nearly a third of our faculty have no natural-born powers, but rather simply practice the arcane magic. Oh, that's not the main issue? Oh, you're being looked at differently by your peers for not having magical powers. I, I can relate to that. Well, believe it or not, I wasn't always this animated. I used to be quite reclusive as a young elf. I used to also be quite the sickly-looking fellow... Being bullied for cosmetic reasoning doesn't do much for your self-esteem, and like I always say, the inside usually reflects on the outside. Well, I say that because when I felt down on the inside, I looked quite down and, to be honest, frumpy. Well, I'm glad I can make you laugh with that. No one has bullied you or anything egregious like that, have they? Okay, good. I would have to respectfully yank some ears around here if that was the case. If I may be so bold, you have nothing to fear here. The staff here is my family, and that familiar bond extends to the students. Let me just go through your file. I just want to see something. See, your scheduling paperwork says you're enrolled for a six-year study? Well, that gives you plenty of time to become adjusted to these halls. And unlike the mortal schools, we charge absolutely nothing. So at least financial worries can be at the back of your mind. Well, since you're here, how about I get to know one of my students a little bit better? What kind of classes would you like to be enrolled in, and what kind of magic would you like to study? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Ah, oh, I love that class. I actually used to take it many years ago when I was still a student here. I believe the same professor teaches it now. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Miss Mosa. You'll really enjoy her. She's a delight and hardly assigns homework. Mm-hmm. Are you okay if I write the rest of this down? Don't worry, this is all confidential. I just find typing to be both soothing and help me stay on track. I have quite the active mind. I've been told I'm quite the scatterbrain, so I like to stay on top of things or else I lose focus. What were we talking about? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. And that will do it. All right, look here. This will be your schedule for the next circuit. That's what we call semesters? Yes. Your next circuit, you'll only have four classes. I'm going to keep it light on you. That way you don't get too overwhelmed with all of these new studies. And if I may be honest, you will do perfectly fine. I can see your record right here, and you have a very high GPA, and you seem to do fairly well in all of your general studies. I know that it might seem tough to fit in to a very foreign place with very different people, but trust me, you will do perfectly fine here. And just so you know, my office doors are always open. You're welcome to come back at any time if you need someone to talk to. You'd like to schedule another appointment? Well, of course you can do that. Let's see. Would next week, Wednesday. Would Wednesday around 10.30 in the morning work? Excellent. I will pencil you in. And whenever you leave, just go to the front desk and they'll give you a sheet of paper that has your appointment, your date, your time, and a hall pass so you can get here without being stopped. Oh, my office hours? Well, they're all day, but I do take a lunch between noon and one. But if it's an emergency, feel free to ask the office up front and they can give you my number. I'm glad you're feeling better. My goal as a counselor is to really help diminish the stress that the students go through. Well, that's the bell. Well, you have a wonderful rest of your day, and if you have any questions about your scheduling, feel free to email me, and I will get back to you ASAP. I'm nearly always at my computer. Okay. You too.